Hello and welcome to Movies for Dumb Guys. I'm your dumb guy host, Joe Johnson. And as usual, joined by Ryan Sharp. And in the morning, I'm making waffles. And Tim Williams. Allow myself to introduce myself. myself. And Ricardo Montalban. We named a dog. (laughs) (laughs) I like the dog. And uh, today, we're going to get right into it. Three. Right into it. Three is the magic number. Three. We are Three going to discuss the greatest movie trilogies of all time. Um, so, you know, if you're a follower of this podcast, you know that there are certain all 12 of you go-to uh, <laughs> movies that seem to come up over and over and over. And uh, so if you're tuning in, and you're like, oh, they're going to be talking about trilogies. I wonder if uh, Johnson's going to throw us a curveball. But I'm going to get right into my number one greatest trilogy Hit of all time. Fastball right down the plate. And if you tuned in today hoping for something different, something shocking. You should not have come back. Star Wars, in my opinion, is the greatest movie trilogy of all time. I really think it's one of the greatest movies, movies <laughs> of all time. <laughs> Um, and I don't know how anyone could even argue that, um, Star Wars came out in 1977, Which, oh. changed movies. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Star Wars was Star Wars when I was a kid. Wasn't a new hope. Wasn't episode well, four. You know, I didn't know if you were going to go like Star episode Wars. three, four, five, or. We you know, know you like Jar Jar. Well, we're talking about Star Wars, the Empire Strikes Back and, uh, Return of the Jedi, um, is Mark the greatest Mark. movie trilogy of all time. Um, and like I said, when, when star Wars came out, it just changed movies. It, it had such a huge impact on me. Uh, was not expecting a sequel, but was excited when the sequel came out. Most people say that the sequel was better than the first one. And then, uh, return of the Jedi kind of rounded out the trilogy to be almost a flawless trilogy. I mean, some people do complain about certain aspects, of Star Wars, um, but I have no complaints. I think Star Wars is the perfect uh, trilogy. Uh, Ryan, your thoughts on Star Wars being the greatest trilogy of all time? Didn't make my list. I'll wait. You should have these already ready to go by now. Who's the more foolish, the fool or the fool who follows it? <laughs> Isn't that what happened last time? <laughs> You're so weak. Uh, so I'm not make... a Star Wars geek. I mean, the movies are fine. They just don't, don't land that high up on my list. <laughs> I didn't when I was a kid growing up. I didn't get into them as much oh, as everybody else. Mackie Big the Force. <laughs> <laughs> I like Jar Jar. You uh, would. Does it make what your top ten? That's what I said. What are you doing on this show? <clears throat> what everybody has to agree with you. I mean, the title is "Movies for Dumb Guys." That's why he's here. You should not have come back. <laughs> there we go. I'm out of here. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like your your son's favorite movie. He of can all tell time. you every yeah. little nook cranny person character. He could probably tell you the credits. Maybe we should have his son on the show instead. I'm all I about know. listen. <laughs> I'm all about letting him express himself in any way he chooses. So I encourage him. To do what he likes. He likes Star Wars. I'm okay with it. I'm going to watch my sports movies. Wow. <laughs> Laugh it up, fuzzball. Tim, help me out here, man. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Where does Star of, Wars, the original Star course, Wars trilogy of rank? Of course, it is number one. Thank you. Man. Uh, you know, just the holy, the holy trilogy. You can't. <laughs> Yeah, you can't. Uh, you we can't, already you did can't a Star deny Wars show. The Force, Ryan. <laughs> deny, <laughs> deny, deny, deny. Anyway, uh, same thing. I, I, actually, I did not see it until it was A New Hope because I don't think I, I mean, I was only five years old when it originally came out. So I think I was a little bit older when they re released it because I remember at seeing it at the drive in with my parents and. It came up and, and everybody was all confused because it said New Hope episode four, and uh, so I saw they it were trying to figure in the out. theater before they added that crap. When nine hundred years old, you reach look as good. You are not. Hmm? Uh, 
uh, Rich, your thoughts on Star Wars? I wasn't even born yet, by the way. <laughs> well, let me tell you, I love Star Wars. And let me explain this trilogy to you. It's like going to a Lions game, and they're winning. You know, you got New Hope. And then all of a sudden, the second half, it looks like they're going to win the game because they came out with Empire Strikes Back. But then Brett Favre throws a bomb <laughs> to Shannon Sharp, and you'll lose because Return of the Jedi just didn't do it for me, so it's not one of my favorite trilogies. Huh. I, uh, the Star Wars trilogy, what I find interesting is the, the dark middle act of Empire Strikes Back where Luke gets his ass kicked throughout the entire that movie. a great movie. Now, Jedi, yeah, it, it went a little light. It's, it's, I heard people compare uh, Jedi to the Muppet Show where it's just kind of filled with Jim Henson type creatures. It's not as bad as the uh, Star Wars Christmas. Story. <laughs> no, <nothing's laughs> I'm as not bad saying as it's that. terrible. I'm not. just saying it just did not do it for a trilogy. For In me. my opinion, though, all three movies are pert near perfect. Um, I can't even tell you the difference between two and three. Yeah. Well, well I, I don't I, know which one's what. I was agreeing with Ryan for a little bit there, but now I think he might be on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> the dark side it, he's filled with. Man, screw you guys. It's just not my thing. The shroud of uh, the dark side before, is upon us. I saw Return of the Jedi, I don't know how many times at the theater when I was a kid. Um, but uh, there's things that you don't notice <laughs> until later when you're watching it as an adult, like uh, when Chewbacca does the Tarzan yell. Across oh, right. The thing. Yeah, yeah. That part was a little much. But <laughs> but I really, I don't hate the Ewoks. I don't hate, and, and the Ewoks get a bad rap because, you know, really they were, uh, they were going to eat. They were going to fry up and eat. Yeah. Uh, the, the human humans. characters. Yeah. yeah. So people, yeah. they get a bad rap for being, you know, mm. miniature Wookiees or whatever. But. <laughs> hey, I like the Ewoks. Yeah, yeah I too. Part. Yum, yum. You know, even though their uh, Jedi has his minor flaws, it's still better than all of the trilogies and everything that came, or all the sequels uh, that came afterward. And uh, I, I can watch any one of those three movies any given time, and I've probably seen those three movies more than any other movie. Mm, no life this man has. All right, I want to run this in the ground. Let's move on to number two. More uh, surprises coming from Johnson. Get back to Cairo. Get us some transport to England. Meet me at Omar's. Be ready for me. I'm going after that truck. Oh. I don't know. I'm making this up as I go. The Raiders of the Lost Ark, uh, Indiana Jones trilogy, number two in my book. Uh, even though um, I remember when Temple of Doom came out, I wasn't a huge fan of Temple of Doom. I thought it was way too dark. Um, over the top, gross with the monkey brains and the eyeball soup and ripping the heart out of the guy's chest. I'm like, what is going on here? But it's still, um, despite the darkness of it, I, I still think it's a fun movie with the, um, the mine ride and short round and all that stuff going on. Um, wh what's her name? Willie, the blonde lady that was in it, who ended up marrying Steven Spielberg. Mrs. Um, Mrs. Spielberg. Yeah. She, she was a bit much, all the screaming and she everything was, that went on yeah, throughout yeah, the film. Like just, just, yeah. The throwback to that, that era when that movie was supposed to take place. It looked like it was one of those movies that yeah. uh, Spielberg was making, like it was supposed to take place. As a movie in that era, well, both both Spielberg and Lucas admitted they were going through dark periods in their life. I think both were going through divorces at the time, and, and Temple of Doom reflected that. <laughs> and then their apology to fans was The Last Crusade, which I think is an absolutely outstanding movie, just made up for Temple of Doom. So all three movies combined, I think, uh, combined uh, rank is, uh, in my opinion, the second greatest trilogy of all time. Ryan, your thoughts on the Raiders trilogy? Where do I start? It's Indiana Jones trilogy. By the way. <clears throat> Raiders was the first movie. So, uh, actually, this made my top ten. Um, you have chosen wisely. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, no, I made my top ten. I it it didn't, but it's towards the bottom of the top ten, and and here's why. Maybe I need to revisit part three, but I was not in love with part three. I didn't. I don't really remember part three very well because I wasn't impressed with it the one or two times that I had watched it. <clears throat> so maybe I just need to go back and rewatch that. But uh, one and two, I thought were absolutely uh, amazing. <laughs> no, you revisit The Last Crusade. It is really, really well done. It's laugh out loud funny. The action is great. Um, I think it recaptured the magic of uh, the first one. Yeah, I don't, and I don't remember what it was that you know put me off about it, but I remember like, being disappointed or whatever, but 
again, a lot of things could have been a factor of the age I was at the time and blah, blah, blah. So I'll revisit it. Tim, Last Crusade. Uh, I really like the first one. Um, remember, like in the second one, never saw the third one. So it is not in my top ten. Sounds like you and Ryan have a I date. I came here to save you. Oh, yeah? And who's going to come to save you, Junior? I told you. Don't call me Junior. You yeah, I have no, I, no idea what, That's what shocking you me. just played there. Rich, help me out here. Well, did they really apologize? Did Spielberg and Lucas really apologize? Well, they apologized, yes. and then well, they took okay. the apology I get, back I get, I get with Crystal serious. Skull. I, I really got to get serious here. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they should <laughs> Now apologize. they owe us another apology. They should apologize for Crystal Skull. And, and Mr. Lucas and Mr. Spielberg, if Let's you, not discuss Crystal Skull. Last Crusade <laughs> was an apology for Temple of Doom. I'm, 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 so let's talk I'm, about I'm, I'm those getting, three movies. I am not. I, Mr. Lucas, Mr. Spielberg, if you're listening, I do not accept your apology <laughs> for The Temple of Doom because it was freaking awesome. And it was a great second movie that led into probably one of the greatest third movies of a trilogy. Now, thank Tem- you, now, Rich. Temple, I don't remember, but Temple of Doom is actually a prequel. It's, to it's yeah. really a prequel. Yeah. Yes, I mean you don't it know came that out later. watching it. Like when oh. when you're <clears throat> sitting there watching, you don't think, "Oh, this all happened before Raiders." But, well, actually, oh. I do because they okay. say the dates before oh. the years in the beginning of the movie. And I guess I didn't pay that much attention. You don't have no oh, short round okay. clips going. Come on, no, Doctor Jones. I didn't you call him Doctor Jones, oh, lady. Here we go. Here we go. We're gonna get the phone calls. But this this one, <laughs> this trilogy is my number one, and I don't think there's yeah, number two is not even close to it. That, this is your number one. I suddenly yeah. remembered my Charlemagne. Let my armies be the rocks and the trees and the birds in the sky. Ah, oh, yeah. I kind of like the way the Aust- Austrians said goodbye. <laughs> Me too. I was the next man. <laughs> All right. Um, let's move on to number three. Let's see. So here. Is, uh, Joe is looking. Oh right. yeah, number oh, three. We're right here. We're right here. We're back. Back to Joe. Back to Joe. Commercial. Number over. three. Boy, this 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 is almost an argument for number one, because each installment is absolutely perfect, flawless. Each chapter of Toy Story. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what did you guys think I was going to say? Uh, we'll Throw Mama we'll from the chain. later. All right. Uh, no, each. Each installment of Toy Story is flawless, perfect. I have no criticisms um, of any of the first three Toy Stories. Now, I know they're talking about doing a fourth, and I wish they wouldn't do that because the trilogy is so perfect. I thought it ended on a perfect note. I don't know where they're going to go with the part four, and I wish they wouldn't. It's just a money grab, I think. But... um, the three Toy Story movies are about as perfect a trilogy as I've ever seen. Ryan, your thoughts? Um, this was a toss-up for me between number one and number two. I, I left it at number two. I, I don't agree with you that it's flawless, um, but the the you know the, the any part that I I don't have a problem with any part of it. I can't say it's flawless, but it is my number my number two. Oh wow. uh, okay. I, I don't care that they're making a four like that doesn't like I'm excited for that and I when I meant when you know, when I said I don't care what I don't care about is where are they going to go with it like you said right. where are they going to go with it mm-hmm. I don't care because I didn't know where they were going to go with it with number three yeah and they found a way to make that work so and so I have faith that they're going to find a way to make it work with number four I'll be there on opening night I'll, my <laughs> butt will be in the seat I'll watch it but I I just feel the first roll in your so eyes perfect. and you're gonna come back and be like yeah, this is yeah, the greatest yeah, movie yeah. Ever. <laughs> Tim um I have this as my number five and um I wasn't like I said before I wasn't too crazy about the second one I mean not, I, I don't have any issues with it but it just seemed like it was to me it seemed like it was more rushed than especially than the third one I mean obviously they took their time with that one and mm-hmm. I think that one's the best one but um See, I, I, I just like, uh, speaking of number two, given Woody the whole backstory that he was from a TV show and he had this yeah, whole no, gang. That, no, that, that was, was all, awesome. That was all cool and everything. But um, but it's just not, I mean, like I said before, there's always one entry in almost every trilogy that just doesn't quite hold up. Mm-hmm. And I think that that's number two in this one. But yeah, I still your... have it as my number five. Okay. Who, 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 who was the actor in number two that did the... Um... Wayne Knight. The toy collector. Yeah, I can't you hate stand him. him. I know you said that. that. Ruined I thought it. he was great. You're, you're you're supposed to hate him. 
It well, maybe, maybe number four will be a prequel a la Temple of Doom. <laughs> there you go. When they're fresh out of the package, right? Rich, your thoughts on Toy Story? The well, trilogy. I got to be honest, guys. I didn't make a full list of top ten. I stopped at number seven, and Toy Story is not mm. even in there. Not in your top seven. Not in my top seven. Probably oh. because I have not seen the third one. Wow. Oh, my God. Man. Just had you no, got to watch it. I had no interest to see it. This may surprise you guys, but when I sat in the theater and watched Toy Story three, I cried. Now, um, you I know that's sorted out by a police. Joe, I've I've noticed that you've cried in many movies. What? <laughs> what? Oh, oh, we're not Dare supposed to say that in public. Sorry. I'm sorry. I I take that back. Joe's never oh. cried except for this recent admission. That's that's right, ladies. Um, Diesel bar. Anybody go see Toy Story? I think 3. anybody that has well any attachment to their toys from when they were a kid. It, this movie manages to kick you right in the feels. Maybe yep. because I'm strong with the force. No attachment. <laughs> <laughs> Jedi has no attachment. Who invited him? God. All right. Now, number four. I, I, I bumped this up to number four uh, just for the sake of conversation. I'm kind of curious to see how you guys respond to this. But I feel out of all the Marvel movies that have come out, when you look at uh, three movies in a row under one title, I think that that title that rises above all else in the Marvel Universe is Captain America. I absolutely loved the first Avenger. It was, like, so different. I love the origin story, going back to World War II. Love the villain. <clears throat> loved uh, everything about the first Avenger. And, and, and there's, you know, Steve Rogers is the goody-goody. Then the second movie comes out, take place in present day, and now he's skeptical, he's uh, bitter, uh, he's untrusting of his superiors. It had this really dark storyline that was kind of reminiscent of like classic 70s thrillers, like political dramas. And the uh, uh, Winter Soldier, I think, is one of the best Marvel movies of the entire Marvel universe. I thought that movie was outstanding. And then just recently I was watching Civil War again, and even though that movie has some flaws, it's a great action flick. I think the fight scene between the Avengers is so enormously entertaining where they're they're fighting but they're trying not to hurt each other and then when uh Ant-Man, you know, turns into a giant and and the other Avengers are like, "Anyone else got any surprises they want to share?" I thought that that whole sequence was enormous, enormously entertaining. Um, I guess my my only gripe about that particular movie is is watching Captain America and Iron Man just really beat the crap out of each other. It's kind of hard to watch because you like those two characters so much. But uh, I think in the Marvel Universe, the Captain America trilogy is outstanding and rises above uh, just about everything else uh, in the Marvel Universe. Uh, Ryan, your thoughts on Captain America? Well, let me tell you. I think Captain America is one of my least favorite out of the Avengers. Did you see Winter Soldier? Yes. Did you see Civil War? I did. Why? What don't you like about Captain America? I don't know. I don't have a, a particular reason or anything. It just doesn't resonate with me, I guess. Uh, I like um, Chris Evans. I think he does a great job. Like, I don't have anything to, bad to say about it. It just... He's like my least favorite Avenger. I just really enjoy his arc. I like how he started out goody-goody and... and watching that character transform. That's something, and Rich, I think you'd agree with this. I like when I see movies and characters have an arc. They have a transformation. They don't just stay the same. Um, and that's what I like about Captain America is he's, he's yeah, really Yeah, he evolved. arced from like a five foot four little punk. And, uh... Yeah, but I mean, I'm talking about like over the course I, of the three I movies. So, Tim, your thoughts on Captain America? Um, yeah, I agree with you. I really like those. And uh, as far as the trilogy so far that Marvel has done, those probably would be up there maybe only, you know, right around Avengers. But um, but I didn't put any I didn't put any Marvel movies in my uh, top ten this time, um, mainly because they're kind of even though they are like kind of separate trilogies, they're still like kind of all encompassing, like right. like all the Marvel movies. So I I, I just just for me, I broke mine down into more movies that are just one, two, three. And, yeah. You know, I mean, watching Civil War, I actually had to kind of remind myself. I'm like, is this an Avengers movie or is this a Captain America movie? I mean, yeah, it could you, easily you be an Avengers movie. You do kind of forget. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When you were but, just talking about the epic fight scene, mm -hmm. um, 
I, that's what was going through my head. I was like, that was a Captain America movie? Yeah, yeah. right. So, yeah. 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 No, now, I, I, I love Civil War, though. I mean, just being able to, I mean, the same thing with Avengers, but introducing like the newer characters and, and you know, Spider-Man, their version of Spider-Man, finally. Yeah, yeah. Um, and see, I Black like Panther, that, too, right? like how in the Spider-Man movie, it showed his like home video footage yeah. of that. They refer back to that. I like that. Yeah. 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 yeah and, and Tom Holland just came in. We were introduced to him for the first time and he knocked it out of the park. And uh, Tony Stark flirting with Aunt May and all that stuff. That was all mm-hmm. really, really well done. Now, when you think about other trilogies from the Marvel Universe, Iron Man, I, I like the Iron Man trilogy, but unfortunately, Iron Man 2, I thought was really, mm-hmm. really weak. Iron Man 3 was not great either. Yeah. Yeah. That was more of a, a talky character piece and not a whole lot of action in Iron Man 3. So that kind of ruled it out. Thor, I really liked the first Thor. I thought two was really, really weak. And then, of course, there was Ragnarok, which was enormously entertaining. Yes. But Thor 2 kind of knocked the Thor movies out of the running. Right. Now, the Avenger movies have been great. Um, Age so of Ultron second was... second one wasn't the best. Yeah, it was, it was okay. Of course, I mean, they really just, had Infinity War. To but. me, they were just trying to do too much, introduce too much in the second one. Right. I mean, they got to do what they got to do. To like continue those movies, but uh, yeah. it just seemed like they they just were throwing too much at us. Right, Rich, your thoughts about uh, the Marvel movies, Captain America trilogy? Captain America is my least favorite Avenger. I've heard other people say that, and I, I don't get it. And I just uh, you know after the second one, he kind of just flatlined kind of for me. And uh, in the third one, I hardly count that as a, I know it's supposed to be a Captain America sequel or. And you know, whatever movie, but I just saw it as an Avenger movie. Yeah, I mean it's all kind of blurred at this so point, was, but mm-hmm. I really love those movies. I own them all on DVD, and uh, they're just repeatedly watchable. Um, all right, on to my fifth uh, movie or trilogy before we go around the table. <clears throat> Again, another shocker for your loyal listeners. He's here. Who? The bat. Wow, I'm actually, there. We go. I'm I'm shocked at your top five. There's one that I thought would for sure they'd be in there, but it's not. Me too. Well, we'll get to that. That's um, the, one was, <laughs> the one I was trying to bet, Ryan. Right. So the, the I think the, the the Dark Knight trilogy, as they call it, made up of Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, and Dark Knight Rises, is number five on my list of greatest trilogies. Even though I do think number three was was the weakest of the bunch, um, I still found it pretty darn entertaining uh, with Anne Hathaway's Catwoman and all that, um, but. I do think the Dark Knight trilogy is one of the greatest trilogies ever made. Ryan, do you agree? It's in my top ten. Um, <clears throat> the first Batman movie, I it's Batman. I, you know, I I didn't love it. Um, came on strong, obviously, with uh, the Dark Knight, and then uh, I didn't mind the third one either. I thought it was really good as well, uh, and a lot of the problems that people had with it, I I liked. Um, Here was the biggest problem with it. I will show you where I have made my home whilst preparing to bring justice. <laughs> right. Then I will break you. Awful. Awful. Bane almost completely ruined that movie for me. But he broke him. <laughs> Literally. I didn't mind him. Literally I broke. just, uh oh, painful. Tim, your thoughts? Uh, not in my top ten. Um, oh. The first one's okay. Uh, the second one's amazing. The third one's okay. Um, I, I I cannot put them in my top ten. Um, Bane is one of my favorite characters. I think I mentioned this before. In the comic books, they have not got him right in either of the movies that he's been in, either of the Batman movies that he's been in. They've been totally off base with him. And uh, that's, I mean, I, I don't hate I don't hate the third one, but they just they did not do Bane correctly at all. I agree. And mm-hmm. I thought the storyline after after this epic storyline in the Dark Knight about good versus evil and the nature of humans and all the stuff, I was like, Oh my god, that's mind blowing. And then the third one, bad guy with a nuclear weapon. I'm like, Oh, come on, man, we've right. seen that so many times. I wanted something different, dun, something mind blowing and dun, 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 bad dun, guy dun, with a bomb. Dun, 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 yep. dun. Uh, uh, Rich, your thought on the Dark Well, Knight I'll trilogy. tell you, Joe. It's my number six trilogy. It's in my top of ten. And I actually like Bane, but I also like the... What I liked about the third movie the best was the overall message of you don't quit and you don't sit there and wait for other people. Yeah. 
You get out of the hole, you show them the way out, and you throw you throw a little hope, but you keep going because you got your mission, and they got to get figure out their own way. Mm-hmm. There's a good lesson there. The other gripe I had about the last one, and I, I can see why they did this, but I think it would have been a better movie if, spoiler alert, Batman would have died at the end. When they had him fly the nuclear weapon out over the water and it exploded, I'm like, wow, he just killed off Batman. That's really ballsy. And then they do the tack on the ending where he's having dinner in France with Catwoman. I'm like, oh, that's a cop out. I think they should have left it more ambiguous at the end there. Wow, we can't leave Superman dead, so we can't kill Batman. I, I, but but they knew that that was going to be the end of the yeah. uh, Christopher Nolan movie, so why not? Yeah. yeah, why not? And then just let them reboot it. Because you, you know. never know. Yeah. They might bring him back. All well, right, so there's they, my... They did bring him back in the form of Ben Affleck. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Ben Affleck. Um, so that's my top five movie trilogies oh, of all man. time. I have five more. We'll get to if we have time. So I'm going to throw it to Ryan. Uh, I, am I correct to assume we did not touch on your number one trilogy of all time? You are correct, sir. Okay. Um, now, I don't I don't think that... Correct me if I'm, I misheard or didn't, I missed you talking about it, but... You were give, you were giving us uh, specific instructions on this trilogy list. Three so, movies in a row. Three was movies one role. in a row. Uh huh. In a row. In a row. Right. Yep. So, um, so it could be part of a bigger franchise, exactly. but you don't have to like everything. Right. Just correct. Three Mundo. Movies. So, I just want to throw that out there. Um, so my number one, number one, number one, is Rocky. Okay. But. It's Rocky 2, 3, and 4. Huh? What? what? <laughs> Somebody get the paddles. <laughs> Joe's heart just stopped. I wasn't prepared to have a sound effect go, but I'll, this one might be appropriate. Um, well, explain yourself, young man. Explain yourself, young man. Um, I love Rocky, the original, absolutely, but... Um, just when you watch them, like I, I just enjoy watching two, three, and four more. Four, as I've mentioned before, has a special place in my heart because, like, it was when I was young and really into rock. Like, it just, like, you know, it struck a chord with me. And I know a lot of people don't think that's one of the greatest Rocky movies, but for me at the time, it was. And I always have that special little place for that movie. Hmm. So, because you made me pick three, three. in a row. Going two, three, and four. That surprises me. Tim? I think I agree with Ryan there. Because, because, <laughs> because I was too young to see the original Rocky in the theater. Yes. So the first one that I saw in the theater was Rocky 2. Again, I wasn't. And then born. I saw Rocky 3, and then I saw Rocky 4 in the theaters. And unfortunately, I saw Rocky 5 in the theaters as well. <laughs> um, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I can totally see what Ryan's saying there. Have um, you, have you ever sat down favorite. and just watched Rocky? Like, yes. Yes, Often. I have see I, a lot. There's nothing against it, but yeah, but I just, I just, I just think that I mean, for me, two, three, and four. I sat like down recently, the ones probably with that I grew up with. Yeah, no, I, I mean, I grew up with Rocky. It was Thank iconic, you, no but no recently, problem. like within, I think it was earlier this year, I sat down, popped in Rocky one, and kind of watched it after having not seen it in decades. And I was like on my feet I, when when he knocks Apollo down. I was like, "Oh my god!" And when the credits roll, I'm like, "Wow, this is this is better than I remember. This is a great, great movie." See, that's so how I feel uh, really about number four. Me. Yeah, uh, these did not make my top ten. Okay, Rich, your you thoughts: are, one, two, three, you, two, three, four, you are Ryan. seven, eight, nine. You're Rich is more five. Four, five, six. You are Ryan. You know, it's tough. The you know. Creed trilogy, which right, is only uh, going to be two uh, movies into it. Anyways, uh, you know, you're Ryan. Is that a, is that a <laughs> Sean Connery, <laughs> Sylvester Stallone? With, with the Bane mask on. You've got to mash it in, man. <laughs> I was about ready to call 911. I thought you had a stroke. <laughs> I remember stroke. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> you remember stroke. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Who we'll keeps ringing that oh. bell? Anyways. I left it off my top 10 for a reason. Because I, I was like, I can go 1, 2, 3. I can go 2, 3, 4. Or 1, 2, 3. Or 2, 3, 4. Uh-huh. I couldn't make up my mind. So I just left it off. I was like, it's just so too good. Because it's so good. It's too good. You can't. That's, the, that's too good. That goes I, back to that. I, I couldn't pick three. I left it off my list because it was too obvious. It's too obvious. I hate that rule. Well, obviously, yeah. you learned nothing from the message in Rocky. No. Since you left it off. 
Because it was too hard for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's too hard. <laughs> Look, it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you get hit and keep moving forward. I couldn't move forward on it. I couldn't make a decision. We- After this discussion, the only quote that comes to mind is, You're a bum. <laughs> you always be. All right, what else you got? Come on, give us number two. Um, number two is Toy Story. I already said that. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, <laughs> now, the rest of this list is kind of jumbled a little bit. Uh, oh, boy. I'm going to go with uh, my number three is going to be the Lethal Weapon trilogy. Uh, okay. You know? <laughs> I can see it. Sure. Well, so good. I can't wait to get to your. <laughs> um, I got sound effects ready to yeah, go. Yeah, seriously. Look, I thought number one was just phenomenal. A classic. Yeah, well, absolute man. classic. Uh, number Horrible. two, uh, you know, it, it, you risk ruining things when you add a, a new character, especially one as um, Joe Pesci. I mean, come on, you know, as uh, in your face as Joe Pesci yeah. was, but he worked. Oh um, yeah. You know, he, he you, you have your. Your characters with Riggs and Murtaugh doing their thing, and then you got this little, you know, chihuahua biting your heels, and it just it yeah. worked. And the way that they all were able to play off of each other, and some of the, you know, most quotable line about going through the drive-through, and um, I think it's hilarious when he's like, "Whatever you want, Leo, get get it." Like, Where did when did that movie come out in in Joe Pesci's career? Was that like the first time that audiences were really introduced to him. No. no well, no, what no. had come out before that? Goodfellas Everything. hadn't come out yet, had it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that no. was after Goodfellas? Yeah, no. Are you sure? No. But no, we'll I'm, have to, no, we'll sure. have to look Joe that Pesci, up. Joe Pesci, he was around before long before that I don't know, though. came out. He's, he I, just, doing I seem to remember sitting in a theater watching Lethal Weapon and going, this guy's amazing, but like, not really being familiar with who Isn't he was. Isn't that Cousin Vinny? Right. That's what I kept saying. Is that Cousin Vinny? No, I Cousin Vinny cousin came out way after, later. Came I'm, just kidding. Yeah. I'm just messing with you guys. So, not, not way later. And Vinny was 1992. Goodfellas yeah. was 1990. Okay. And um, Lethal Weapon 2? I'm getting there. Home. 89. All right. Oh. So, so yeah. So, that so was that pretty was like, early was like, on yeah, in his career. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. yeah I, don't, I, I don't know. I just thought he worked. Yeah, I agree. And he so, came back for three, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I, I thought those ones. Now, um, you know, Jet Li, when they did all that, I wasn't a huge fan of that one, but um, yeah. I'll take one, two, three all day. I, I agree with you. I don't even know what to how to respond to that. I agree with you. Great trilogy. <laughs> Tim? Um, yeah, I like those movies. I think I saw all three of them. I don't remember, but um, it didn't make my top ten. Okay. Rich? Did not make my top ten. I I love Jet Li, but this that movie just I don't know bothered me a little bit. The 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 first three, the third one. Talk about the third top. One. Oh, the third one. You don't think you think the third one is what kind of knocks it out of the running? Kind of. Yeah, I felt like Return of the Jedi to me. Okay. Yeah. All right. The Ewoks. Okay. Probably the Ewoks. Except this time it was Aaron Rodgers throwing right? the bomb. And oh. that, <laughs> that, <laughs> that's All right. What else? We're in August, people. Uh, the next one. Um, I'm probably gonna get a little bit of flack um i really 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 enjoyed the oceans movies huh. yeah there you go huh. there you go um no and- which I, I'm, a, I'm a little lost so Clooney did how many two no three he three. did three yeah and so this most recent one is the fourth oceans movie yeah correct oceans eight okay the chicks wow okay chicks. yeah all right um <laughs> i just i so I, look, I didn't see the very uh, the original uh uh-huh. um until after so and until way after so i had zero clue of what this movie was going to be about i had zero expectations with this movie um and when i went and saw the first one i just i i thought it was great i thought the cast was great i thought everything about it was great love the first one yeah and then i think they followed it up well with with uh, the rest of them and i could sit down and just watch any of them at any given point in time and just still be entertained hmm. still to this day i think it's really creative writing and great acting. I think I, I skipped out on the, the two and three just because I think the critics were pretty harsh. And one of the things they really pointed a finger at was, was Julia Roberts pretending to be Julia Roberts. Which one was that in, two or that three? Was two. That was two? Okay. I thought that was hilarious. And I, have, I don't even have a memory of three coming out. I thought it was hilarious. They, uh, oh. You know, the way that they well, kind of played that, 12, you know, strung that along a little bit. Like, come on, you guys. You know, you know who she looks like. <laughs> come on. Like I, I thought it was entertaining. I thought it was funny, and I like when they kind of hmm. poke fun at themselves. And and anytime a movie, when it's done right, 
when they poke fun of themselves or previous movies they've been in or um like I, I was just watching Central Intelligence and um you know Kevin Hart's making fun of like you know these alter egos like these dumb characters like Hulk Hogan and The Rock you know whenever they do that I just I find it Im- immensely entertaining so I got to be honest I did not expect this to come up I thought I mm-hmm. you would have brought up the Hangover movies before this. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tim, your thoughts on the Oceans movies? No, I've never seen any of them, and I any of them have no interest in seeing wow. any of them. Ricardo, <laughs> what? The? I like the Oceans movies. All three of them? I You've seen all, all three, three of, them. of them? I liked all four of them. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I hated the fourth okay. one, but that's an, that's yeah. another story for another day. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> all right. All right, moving on. Um, this next one, uh, again, it's just kind of the time period, I think. And um, the third movie in this installment was not the best, but it kind of completed everything. And the trilogy I'm going to pick next is American Pie. Okay. Another bit of a surprise there. Yeah, I just found it, again, kind of unique. It kind of brought back that that uh, teenage sex comedy. Um Again, I thought it was funny. I love the characters. I love uh, Stifler and what he brought to the table. Um, I like how different they made every character, even though they were kind of in the same circle. Um, and, of course, how can you go wrong when you hump a pie? True. Yep. What did he hump it with, Brian? <laughs> <laughs> a peanut? <laughs> Now, I don't know if I ever told you guys this story, but uh, I, I used to do uh, oh, changing the subject. Um, I was uh, I used to do freelance, video freelance, and uh, worked with a guy who did uh, uh, figure skating. He got a contract to shoot figure skating in the Midwest, and I would we'd go on these long road trips to go shoot. And as we were driving one time, I was talking to him, and uh, I said, hey, what happened to the guy that, uh, that I replaced? And he said, oh. You know, every time we'd go on these long road trips, he would talk about this movie that he was writing and that he, he was going to take it to Hollywood. He was going to get it produced. And that's all he ever talked about. It got so annoying. And I'm like, well, what happened to the guy? And he says, you ever hear of a movie called American Pie? He wrote it. And I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. Is that Kevin? That's not Kevin. What's his name? Feige I don't know. That wrote that, is it? I don't know. I don't know no. who, who, who wrote, wrote that. Down. Great story. Know. So there's a uh, so there's a Michigan connection to uh, the American Pie. Well, obviously, yeah, obviously obviously it, takes place it takes place in Michigan. Well, that doesn't necessarily mean anything, but yeah. <laughs> well, so, typically, if people mention all these places and all these colleges and movies, it's because they have some sort of tie here. They don't just throw a dart at a map and be like, "Yeah, let's talk about Flint." Never thought about it. Hmm. All right. So is that yeah. number five on your list? I don't know. One, two, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. three, four. That was four, five. Yeah. That was five. All right. Tim, what do uh, what do you got on okay. your list? We have not Star Wars was number one. Number two is, and I'm shocked that you didn't have this in your top five. Mm-hmm. Uh, Back to the Future. <gasps> Tell us <laughs> why you think uh, Back to the Future is one of the greatest trilogies. I, I of think all time. that uh, they probably you know more than just about any other movie. They were able to like intertwine those stories and um, you know jump around. And I, I I mean, granted, what's his face wasn't in the second one and the the dad oh McFly. And, yeah and yeah you know so, Chris, they, so they did the gimmick deep thing where he's hanging upside down the whole time right but <clears throat> but I thought you know to be able to to jump around you know time timeline wise and and still be able to have a coherent storyline between the three of them I, I thought I thought you know that it was genius wait a minute wait a minute doc uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? The way I see it, if you're going to build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Uh, Back to the Future trilogy is in my top ten. Uh, the only reason it's sunk so low, uh, I think it's number seven on my list, uh, is the third one. The third, like one the third one was a flat-out Western. I was a little disappointed that they dedicated the entire movie to being set in the Old West. I think it would have been a better movie if maybe they would have jumped to s- several different time periods in the third one to really explore the whole time travel thing. Um, I thought number two was a little dark for me. I remember seeing it in a the theater and being a, just a little disappointed that it was so dark and that Biff was so evil and that he was like smacking um, the Marty's mom around and stuff. I'm like, wow, this is really, really dark. Um, so those are some of the reasons why it, it sunk on my list, but uh, still cracked my top ten. Um, Rich, what are your thoughts on the Back to the Future trilogy? 
There is a reason it's not in my top 10, and it's the same reason that Karate Kid is not in my top 10. Because remember, it's Karate Kid 1, 2, and 3. Yes. Okay. I don't remember three. Elizabeth, I don't remember three, but Elizabeth Shue was. just disappeared. No. You, you take Elizabeth Shue out of the movie. No, she came in in the second yeah, one. Yeah, it was a different chick in the first one. Who was that in the first why, one? Why isn't she Leah, in that first that one? Leah That's Thompson? what I'm saying. Leah Thompson? What are you looking at, butthead? Oh. No, no, not his girlfriend. <laughs> oh, no, she was the mom. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember who the girl was. I don't think she's anybody. Um, she, I, 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 uh, I met her at a comic con. Um, and I'm, oh, I, I, I'll have to there look up is. her name, <laughs> but, uh, she had some reason why she couldn't do the, I think it was some family issues or something. She couldn't do the oh. sequel. So they came in, brought in Elizabeth Shue, yes. reshot the exact same scenes from the end of the first movie with Elizabeth Shue and then had her in the second but one. She's and, sleeping the whole movie. Well, a good chunk of it until she like comes yeah. face to face with herself. And then I don't think she ever really appeared in the third one at all, did she? Exactly my point. No, I don't think so. No. Yeah. So. But um, yeah. So there were some inconsistencies there. But uh, Ryan, your thoughts on Back to the Future? Um, number one was great. Number two was not too dark for me. I actually, uh, I liked it, and I could. I mean, it was you know meant to be that way with that parallel universe stuff. So I, I, I didn't have a problem with that. And that is who Biff would be. I feel. Uh, yeah. You know, he from his high school days, he is that guy. He is that woman abusing. Uh, if he gets power like that, he's gonna abuse it and and uh, you know become a. Say hi to your mom for me. Yeah, exactly. So um, where it lost it for me. Same with you. Number three. Uh, I, I. It's not that it's a terrible movie. It's just not one that I ever want to watch again. Um, <laughs> it, it. I don't like westerns. I don't like. I, I didn't like uh, just how it was all put together, and you know it was. Yeah, I just didn't really like it. Um, I didn't even like when they came back and he had the the wife and the kids and like they turned the the train into a time traveling time, yeah. traveling tame. Like you don't you went from flying cars to now you're gonna have a flying train. Like that. I mean, it was just a bit much for me. And hello, hello, anybody home? Hey, think with flying things. Yeah, I agree with you. Um, but the first two, I, the first one was off the chart. Right. You know, second one. Okay. okay, third one took a took it right off my top ten. Tim, what's next? Uh, my number three is the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Here we it's another go. One that I'm surprised you don't have here that in your top five go. either, Joseph. Go ahead, explain why you think it's uh, one of the greatest trilogies. Just, well, I mean, you know, we discussed it a little bit before. Uh, same thing. <clears throat> I just, I wasn't familiar with it, and when I saw the first one, I just thought it was okay. Um, and then the second one blew me away. Um, partly because of the addition of Gollum, but uh, just that whole movie I just thought was fantastic. And then, of course, uh, Return of the King, wrapping everything up, and um, I just think they're great. Oscar winning the third one, I agree. They just kept getting better and better with each installment. Rich? That was my number two on my list. Good job. It was a good movie. All three of them, I loved them. Uh a little disappointed they didn't follow the book too good, but other than that, it was. If you never read the book, they're just an awesome trilogy. Now we kind of know what Ryan thinks of this trilogy. <laughs> so what else you got, Tim? <laughs> uh, my number four is the Road Warrior slash Mad Max uh, trilogy, and. Just uh, yeah, I mean, when I saw when uh, I saw these as a kid, I just was like blown away. I, I uh, well, I mean, I saw the second one first, and then I went back and saw the first one. Um, the third one is not the greatest; it's the weakest link out of the three. But still, all together, for post-apocalyptic movies, I think that they're uh, they're good stuff. I think I may have seen them in the same order. I, I saw The Road Warrior; absolutely loved it. On my hundred greatest movie list, um, and then I think I did go back and see Mad Max, and uh, didn't think it was as good as The Road Warrior, but I thought it was a decent movie. But I remember being really disappointed with uh, Part Three, and uh, that's why I didn't crack my top ten. I don't Rich, hate. I don't hate Part Three. I, but it's, I don't hate it's, it, it's, but it's I, definitely it, the weakest. I just yeah. ha- I haven't been able to get through them. But yeah, usually when I watch them, they're on TV, and I just like not I even the I, Road I don't, Warrior. I don't want to waste my time. If you're not if you're not watching the conclusion of the Road Warrior, you're missing out because the yeah. conclusion that where the I, escape from the compound is uh, maybe is one day thrilling. I'll rent the DVD, but no hurry. Ryan, 
Uh, your thoughts on the Mad Max trilogy? I love Beyond Thunderdome. I thought the uh, casting Tina Turner was uh, a, a bit of a risk because she had not been established as an actress before that. So that was a that was a I big risk. I thought she was risk. all right though. Yeah, but that, she was an unproven actress, and I was like, Tina Turner, really? Uh, yeah, but it didn't make my list. So didn't crack your top ten. Didn't. Not that it's bad or anything. Just I'd rather watch something else. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my number five is um, hometown trilogy, somewhat the Evil Dead trilogy. Okay, Evil Dead one, Evil Dead two, Dead by Dawn, and Evil Dead three, Army of Darkness. I have yet to see uh, any of those movies. What? Oh my god! I you tried. Call yourself a Michigan. Which one? Which one? Uh, okay, is the, the first one. Woman brutally assaulted by a tree. Okay, that's that's the first one. All right, I hated it. I, I know you did. <laughs> of course you did. But the first one, yeah, I mean, that that's a little bit more straight-up horror. And for a horror fan, I could see, you know, somebody, you know, really being into it. But, but I mean, it's it's more it's more straight-up horror. Uh, the second one is kind of like a remake of the first one, but they add the humorous elements in it, into it. And then Army of Darkness kind of goes into a different direction, goes back into, like, medieval times. But it is hilarious. I feel guilty because these are these are guys. Bruce Campbell and Sam Raimi grew up in this area, and I, I want to like these movies. So you I, so you do, haven't even bothered to watch the other two because of the I, the, well, the bad taste that the first one. Put I can't in recall. If that's the case, you need to watch the other two. I can't recall if I ever saw part two, but that sounds about right. That I hated the first one so much that these the other I just two no are like just franchise. a totally different feel, a totally mm-hmm. different. I mean, they just go in a totally different direction. I will promise you this: when Halloween rolls around this I, year, I'll tell you what. I'm I will going not, to watch I, Evil Dead Two. I won't make you watch Evil Dead Two. I'll make you watch Army of Darkness. Yeah, yeah. Start off with that one. I think so. I think you. I think that one might be a little bit more palatable for you. For okay. You. All right. You have my word, Ryan. Any thoughts on Evil Dead? No, but here's the story <laughs> about Bruce Campbell. <laughs> so I didn't meet him. Don't drop anything. <laughs> Ow! Man, my foot. Um. So when I worked at the movie, premature. Um, rental place formerly known as video giant um there was one that uh, i wasn't there when this happened but he uh bruce campbell came in and he just ran in and he went and found his movie and was like okay just making sure you guys got it and then walked out really yeah that was a good story wow wait what did he do he walked into the video <laughs> rental place went found his movie to make sure that it was there seriously he was like i just want to make sure you guys got it and then really? walked out really? wow good story uh, I think it's funny. <laughs> Screw you. Claudia Wells. You Claudia hear? Wells is the actress who was in the first Back to the Future movie. Oh, uh, okay. Ow! Um, I thought you, my back! I thought you were going to say that you had his uh, credit card number. No big deal. <laughs> I'm not going to do anything with it. <laughs> no. we, you know, it's funny. I work on the show called Comics Beer and Sci-Fi, and we actually interviewed Bruce Campbell Allen at the... Uh, oh, at the Redford, yeah. Redford, yeah. Mm-hmm. Where, where's oh, my, wait, wait, where's wait. my name drop? I'm sorry. Uh, Ow! There you go. Actually, uh, how had many to, name had to be, drops can we do? I had, to be a, I had to be a stand-in while we're getting ready to shoot for Bruce Campbell. I mean, I <laughs> often when I see you, I'm like, there's Bruce Campbell. Oh, no. <laughs> I did meet Bruce Campbell's dad. <laughs> oh! I I once had Campbell soup. <laughs> Ow! Tim, you got anything? I got nothing. You grew up uh, in the same general <laughs> area. <laughs> No, 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 no. That he was on count. Campbell Street. I got nothing. <laughs> All right. Uh, he saw Bruce Almighty. It, uh, <laughs> is that it, or uh, you got anything else? That's Before my top anything. five. All right. Rich. All right. What do you got we haven't discussed? So yet. we discussed one and two, and now we're going to number three, which is actually the Dollars Film Trilogy, which is the fistful of dollars, a few dollars more, and the good, the bad, the ugly with Clint Eastwood. Go ahead and talk over the movie. Punk. There was a uh, great trilogies because Clint Bane was in it. That's what <laughs> I, was, I thought that was I'm Bane. I'm not too. being Bane. <laughs> I totally thought that was this Bane. This is Bane. <laughs> when you hang a man, make sure he's good. <laughs> when you hang a man, <laughs> make sure you watch him die. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, I, I, I'm a huge Clint Eastwood fan and uh, loved Good, Bad, and the Ugly. Um, I'm sure I've seen the other ones, uh, not religiously, but I'm sure I've seen them all. Because if, if a Clint Eastwood movie is on on a rainy Sunday afternoon, um, I'll watch them. And um, 
they made him a star. You know, they, they, he couldn't get a job here in Hollywood. And so he went uh, over and did these movies in Italy, did the spaghetti Western and uh, made him a star. Uh, gave him a career. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. My number four is Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, one, two, and three. Oh, man, I can't agree with that. <laughs> um, first one, I loved. 100 greatest movie list of mine. One of the greatest movies I've ever seen. Um, great action flick. Hated every Pirates movie that I've seen after that. Just thought they got worse and worse. To the point where I, I just even stopped watching them. I just couldn't bring myself to watch them. But uh, what was the third one? Uh, I have no it idea. was Dead. That made uh, Tell No Tales. Was that? I don't was know. There, it's all blurred. Which but. one had the guy with the Cthulhu face? Uh, that was the first one. That was, no, that was with the with the tentacles. Jones. That was the second one. Yeah, that was the second one. That was Dead Man's Chest, I think. The and then the chest. second one, I want to say. Dead Man Tells No Tales. You sure? Yeah. The Hunt for Curly's Gold. <laughs> <laughs> it's all a blur. But no, any, anything after Electric the first boogaloo. one was, was cra- cra- crap. Um, Ryan, your thoughts on the uh, Pirates movies? I'm right there with you, buddy. Number Thank one you. was uh, outstanding. And um, I was really excited for part two. And then I was like, all right, what the heck is going on with this? And then I just stopped watching after that. I saw the first one on DVD after it had been hyped up. I thought it was okay. I saw the one with Davy Jones. It was okay. I never bothered to see the third one. Yeah, oh. I remember a visual gag. I can't remember if it was The Simpsons or something like that, but like this, this hay baler was going through a field, and then it ran over like some cow manure or something, and what came out of the other end of the machine were videos of the third Pirates movie. And I thought that was so appropriate. It was garbage. Jeez. All right. I guess I should have moved up the born. Uh, the born. <laughs> there you go. Now you're talking. The born, What's you, next on your list? Number there, five Rick? is Die Hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> you I can't get, go wrong with Bruce. I thought Willis. you're going born. Um, oh, born. He's he was later. I should have put him at number four, but he's number seven. Yeah. I. Uh, <laughs> I, I uh, again, number one, classic. Number two, eh. And three, I don't even have any memories of. Is that the one with Samuel Sam Jackson? Jackson? Yeah. That's the best Thank one. Gosh. No. So Love strong it. of a finish of a, of a trilogy. No. Brian? See, I don't remember the second one. That I was did. the stupid airport. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Where they like, right. crashed a plane. Oh, so, oh, okay. But it was filmed in Michigan. Come on, guys. Okay. Hop on the Michigan train. So, look. <laughs> one was an instant classic. <laughs> three, I thought, was... Awesome, and maybe my favorite Die Hard. I may have to revisit it. I, I like three. I thought, remember it. I thought they played well together. Um, I, I liked the back and forth. I thought uh, Jeremy Irons as the uh, bad guy was great. I think he did a phenomenal job. Uh, this one, for me, it's not on my top ten because number two. Right. I, you know, I just, it's forgettable. It's not great. And, uh, and they yeah. just kept going. Die Hard with a Vengeance. Live yeah. and let die hard. Uh, <laughs> like die hard. Well, die hard Tokyo <laughs> drift. <laughs> I, like I was like, I was like, uh, you could, yeah, you could do that with all those ones too. You know, I mean, I mean, I'm surprised Fast and Furious wasn't in yours. And... <laughs> I can't pick three consecutive Fast and Furious movies. That's the only they reason. I really they jumped to, around they a little bit. A lot. All right, what else you got? That was it. That was my. That was five. it. That was actually. You've heard all seven because I popped in uh, the Born. Trilogies, I love Born. Yes, yeah, so that um, I've never seen more than the first one. I've seen look, one of them, and I'm not great. sure which. They build nice. Well, the first three are great, and then and then uh, it's not like Mission Impossible. They actually build a good story. When Matt Damon left the franchise, that was a mistake. Um, yes. Yeah, I, I didn't watch it after Matt Damon left. So the rest of my top ten, we touched on some of them. Lord of the Rings, number six. Back to the Future, number seven. Uh, number eight, uh, the Matrix trilogy. Even though the, uh, the third yeah. one was pretty weak, I thought the second one was yeah. a good action flick. First one, classic. That's true. Um, yeah. Number nine, out of all the Harry Potter movies they did, which was what eight or nine? Nine. Um, nine. Maybe ten. The no, the, the three best movies in a row were one, two, and three. Oh. With Azkaban, I think being. The best movie of the entire franchise. I absolutely love Azkaban. And as much as I love the entire franchise, and I saw every single one of them in theaters, I thought they got progressively darker and darker and darker until kids were getting killed. And I'm like, oh, man, this is too much to take. 
So I loved all the movies, but I think the, the best three are one, two, and three. Uh, and then rounding out my top 10, uh, Terminator 1, 2, and 3. Terminator 1, a classic. Terminator 2, even better. Terminator 3, I know I'm in the minority, but I actually like Terminator 3 with the Terminatrix, the hot chick Terminator. Uh, she was sexy and good. And uh, so, yeah, I love the uh, Terminator movies. Uh, honorable mention, uh, I'm going to throw out, we talked about this recently, Mission Impossible 4, 5, and 6. Mm. Uh, X Men one, two, and three, Whoosh. the Born movies, and then uh, that's, the that's Avenger a, movies. Th- that's a toilet flushing. Whoosh. Ryan, you got anything we haven't touched on? <laughs> I can't set me up like that and expect me to keep this PG. Uh, yes, I do. Um, I have uh, uh, quite a few you guys didn't touch on. We kind, you kind of mentioned it because you thought it would come up earlier, and that's the Hangover movies. I thought they were really super funny. All was, three of them? Yeah. I, I, I thought agree. they were funny. I, oh I think they're God. all funny. Most people generally agree that two and three are pretty hard to watch. I don't care about most people. I just like what I like, and I like two and three. Okay. Um, Meet the Parents. I thought those were all great Ugh. classics. I'm sorry. You can yeah. moan all you want over Heart- there. Heartburn. Yeah. I have not seen you too reach under the caps. table, so I'm trying to figure out how you are pulling these out of your ass. <laughs> It's just, uh, they just walk out at this point. We need a sound effect for that. Um, I'm going to also uh, throw a shout out to Shrek. All right. I'll agree with Shrek. All right. That's a good one. Two, I mean, uh, one and two was great. Um, I think three was okay. Yeah, it was okay. I, I like, think I saw that like once. But, I liked all three of them. Uh, two with, with the introduction of Puss, Puss in Boots, Boots was yeah. just great. Yeah. It was such a great character. Yes. Yep. I know. That's why it's on my it. list. Right. Dead. I'll allow it. Thank you. Um, Despicable Me, I thought did a great job with those movies. I haven't seen any of them. Have they I done three of those now? Those They've years. actually done Saw three and then Minions, too. And Does I Minions you know include minions. minions in your... No, no Minions no. was no. good. That's not its own standalone. any of those. You, they're right they're, up there with but that Hotel Transylvania. I don't care to see them. No, I see. Hotel that's Transylvania me. is good. I give those an honorable mention. In my um, and then um, Rambo. Those ones are on there for me. One, two, three. And then I'm going to do an honorable mention. You could actually go two, three, four, two with Rambo. You could, but I went one, two, three. That's why I said it that way. Okay. All right. And then my honorable mention is Ernest. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Criminy. I cut that part out. Uh, we're just about out of time. Uh, anyone got any honorable mentions they want to throw out? Uh, yeah. The uh, the latest Planet of the Apes. Oh, man. Yeah. Trilogy. Yeah. Those were great. The Terrible. Riddick. Outstanding. The Riddick Pitch Black Trilogy. The Cornetto it. Trilogy. And... Austin Powers. Three was pretty gold. weak. Yeah, I hated but, uh, three. They were still good. Yeah. Rich, you, you, you we covered yours, sucked. right? Oh, we're out of time, folks. All right. I'll catch you next time. All right. Your Thanks list for probably sucked anyways. Listening to our top trilogies of all time. Thanks for listening to Movies for Dumb Guys. List. Good night, everybody. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs>